Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Josh Ald. I am the Assistant Chair of the Department of Biology at Westchester University. And I'm making this video to uh, share with prospective students and their families just to go over some of the opportunities for degrees in the biology department as well as some other information. This is just an overview for prospective students and their families. Uh, we offer one undergraduate degree in the Department of Biology, and that's a Bachelor of Science in Biology. Within that, there are six different concentrations, and these are areas where students can pick to specialize within the degree program. The Integrative Biology concentration is sort of the default or baseline program. It's the most open-ended and flexible. It has the fewest number of required courses and the, the largest number of electives. The idea with the name is that it allows you to integrate your interests in biology and pick upper level electives that are of interest to you. The cell and molecular concentration as well as ecology and conservation, marine science and microbiology all allow students to focus their study in a particular area of biology. They have required courses and then often electives chosen from uh, a subset of all of the courses we offer that are tailored to that specific area. The medical laboratory science concentration is a very unique concentration. Uh, in that concentration, all the, st the students do their coursework in three years, and then they do a full year-long internship at a local hospital where they're learning to run the clinical tests that keep the hospital running. Uh, so it's still a Bachelor of Science in Biology with everything you can do with that, but it is at the same time very specialized. A number of students see medical and think that that's the trajectory to go if you want to go to medical school. Um, it's not really what we would recommend there. Uh, the best options for students that want to go to medical school are either the integrative concentration or the cell and molecular concentration. And what you'll want to be doing there as well as reaching out to the, the pre-med program or pre-professional program for advising assistance. One uh, area that's important to recognize here is that these are essentially ways in which students specialize in their degree as they move through the program. You do not have to have your mind made up about a particular concentration to start as a biology major. Your courses would be identical in the first semester, essentially for the first year, and you, so you don't need to worry about it. It's something you can change your mind on very easily and not be behind. It's something that you can uh, change officially in the system as you go through the program. So don't worry if you don't know specifically about what area of biology you want to start in. You're going to take the same courses in the first year. It doesn't really matter. The degree requires a total of 120 credits. That's essentially the same as uh, all, ba all bachelor's degrees. Um, and then again, the idea is the different concentrations have different biology course requirements. They all are going to require general biology, genetics, and cell physiology. And some of them are going to require microbiology, botany, zoology, and ecology. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you where you can see the advising sheets for these programs on our website so you can take a look at what the requirements are and how they differ from each other. Again, the integrative concentration is the most flexible. Um, switching among them is very easy in the first two years. The most unique one is that medical laboratory science concentration, which requires the full year-long internship. The degree also requires uh, two math courses, statistics and calculus, okay? All of biology majors also take two semesters of general chemistry with labs and two semesters of organic chemistry. However, only one semester of organic chemistry lab is required. Our students don't have to take organic two lab. Uh, and all biology majors also take two semesters of physics with lab. The program wraps up with a capstone course at the end, but students have the opportunity to do a research experience in lieu of that capstone course, and that's something we highly encourage. We want to get our students involved in research, something to be talking to your academic advisor about as you migrate through the program. Class size is always something that people are interested in. Uh, an important thing to understand is almost all of our courses have labs, and labs are always taught in smaller class sizes. The lectures can be larger, especially in the first semester. Bio 110 is, is one of the largest classes that we offer. Uh, and as you migrate through those 200 level courses in the second year, the classes become smaller. The upper level electives that students are taking in their third and fourth year are typically between uh, 15 to 30 students. Uh, 
Labs, as I mentioned, are always smaller. They're capped at 24 students. So even if you're in a large class like Bio 110, you're still in a smaller group for lab. And something we always like to highlight here is that at Westchester, all classes, including all labs, are taught by faculty members. At some of the bigger research institutions, you might find that labs are actually taught by graduate students. Uh, and we're very proud of the fact that faculty members teach all of the labs in our program. And that most, if not, not all, but most of the courses have a lab component. What do our majors do after graduation? What can you do with a biology degree? Well, you can go in a ton of different directions. A number of our majors just immediately start working with their bachelor's degree in, in particular areas of like the pharmaceutical industry or genetic engineering or biotechnology. Uh, if you do microbiology, you might be interested in going into food processing or quality control. People with the ecology and conservation interests might go work for an environmental consulting firm. A large number of our students also go on to professional schools, things like medical or veterinary, uh, physician's assistant, etc. Uh, here I would also encourage you to reach out to the pre-professional program or sometimes called the pre-med program. This is an advising program that helps students with those particular interests ensure that they are doing what they need to do as they go through their bachelor's degree toward applying to a professional school uh, at the end. And to be clear, pre-med or something like that isn't a major, it's really an advising program that helps students. And then a lot of our students go on to graduate school in biology, both master's and PhD programs. And we have a master's program in the Department of Biology as well. This is just a pie chart showing a number of the different uh, sectors that our majors have gone into. You can see a good chunk go into healthcare, pharmaceuticals, education, higher ed, uh, but then there's a whole wealth of other areas that students with uh, degrees in biology go into. A little bit more information, just some numbers. Uh, we have a lot of undergraduate majors. At present, there's about 750 of them. Um, and there are 20 full-time faculty, uh, that's tenured, tenured track faculty that, that make up the department. In addition, we have some temporary faculty that help teach classes as well. The Department of Biology is located in Schmucker North and Marion, um, which are two of the connected buildings in the science complex. And we have a number of facilities that are state-of-the-art that are used by all the faculty in doing research and in teaching their classes. So we have molecular biology facilities and a tissue culture lab. We have a clean room for working with infectious organisms. We have an electron microscopy center and all classrooms are equipped with uh, state-of-the-art technology as would be expected uh, in 2020-2021. Uh, some opportunities to engage uh, beyond the classroom. So we really encourage students to get involved in doing research. Um, that can start early in the career where you might start working in a faculty member's lab getting some experience. And then as you move through the program, you can actually do research for credit with a faculty member. Uh, a number of our students do off-campus interviews and sometimes they do that for credit. And then we have a number of student organizations like the Darlington Biological Society, uh, which is like a bio club for bio majors. You don't have to be a bio major to join in, but it's specifically aimed at getting students the opportunity to interact outside the classroom. And we have some other facilities like a student lounge on campus where students can hang out in between classes. Okay, so for further information, I would invite you to explore our website. Uh, you're already on the website if you found this video. Contact information for myself is here uh, on the landing page. Feel free to send me an email if you have questions. Dr. Kasadi is the chair of the department. He's also happy to address your questions. And then what I would want to highlight is if you click on undergraduate along the banner there and then the undergraduate advising section here, you'll find posted uh, PDF documents that are advising sheets for all of our programs. So if you're curious to know a little bit more or look at the specific requirements for a particular program, what's required of the cell and molecular program, something like that, feel free to poke around. Feel free to reach out with questions you have. And thank you for your time in watching this video. Mm -hmm.